Understanding Cumulative Frequency, a Simple Guide. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting mathematical concept that often pops up in statistics, cumulative frequency. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone curious about numbers, understanding this term can be incredibly useful. So, let's break it down together, and I promise to make it as simple and clear as possible. Cumulative frequency is a measure of how many times something happens, added up in a sequence over a period of time or among a set of items. Imagine you're stacking blocks one on top of the other, where each block represents an event or occurrence. The total height of the stack at any point is your cumulative frequency. It tells us the total occurrences up to that point, not just the count of the latest event. Calculating cumulative frequency is simpler than it might sound. Let's say you have a list of numbers that represent daily visitors to a cafe over a week. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. To find the cumulative frequency for each day, you start with the first number, then add each subsequent number to the total of the previous ones. Here's how it looks. Day 1 10, just the first number. Day 2 25, 10 plus 15. Day 3 45, 25 plus 20, and so on. By the end of the week, the cumulative frequency will show you the total number of visitors to the cafe. Understanding cumulative frequency can help in various fields such as economics, healthcare, and education. It gives us insight into trends, patterns, and overall performance. For example, teachers can use cumulative frequency to track the progress of students' test scores over the year, helping to identify areas where students may need more support or intervention. Cumulative frequency isn't just a concept for textbooks. It has practical applications in everyday life. Whether you're tracking your expenses, monitoring your fitness progress, or even observing patterns in weather changes, cumulative frequency can be a handy tool to summarize and analyze data over time. And there you have it, a simple guide to understanding cumulative frequency. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting concept and shown you how it can be both useful and relevant in many aspects of life. Don't forget to practice what you've learned, and always keep exploring the wonderful world of numbers. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.